Greetings everyone. In this video, I will be showing you how to take measurements for drafting a kurti. So let's start. Measurement plays a key role in designing a dress. They need to be accurate for a perfect fit. We begin with taking measurements of full length. Here, start from the highest shoulder point which is near the neck. Passing through the apex and stopping 4 inch below the knee. This is a standard measurement. Let me tell you a tip. Make sure the person looks straight in front, hands at the side. Waist length, same as full length, starting from the highest shoulder point, passing through the apex and stopping at the waist. Another tip, how to know the exact position of waist? Simply tell your client to place her hands at the side of the waist. The point where the curve is the most inside becomes the waist point. Shoulder, it is one of the most important measurements as it affects the fit of the dress. Now, it starts from one shoulder bone to the other. Tip, if you are getting confused with the shoulder bone, simply tell your client to lift her hands up. There would be a line forming between the arm and the shoulder. Now that would be the exact starting and ending point of the shoulder measurement. Circumference measurements. We will be taking measurements of the back and front together as a one measurement. Let's start with the chest. Tell your client to lift her hands up. Place the tape below the arms. Put her hands down. Make sure the back side of the tape is parallel to the floor. Tips, don't pull or hold the tape tightly. Place two fingers below the measuring tape. Bust measurement. Keep the tape at the apex point. Pass it through the back. Make sure it is parallel to the floor. As the same, don't hold the tape too tight. Waist round. Point where you measured the waist length. Pass the measuring tape through the back and the front. Make sure the tape is parallel to the floor. Hip round. Place the tape at the widest part of the hip. Again, making sure that it is parallel to the floor. Sleeve length. Start from the highest point of the arm. Extend it till the wrist. Tip. Make your client bend her hand from elbow and then measure. Otherwise, your sleeves will become short as you move your hand. Now, irrespective of the sleeve length, the method is the same. You start from the highest point of the arm. Sleeve length and sleeve round. Now the sleeve length can be at different points. Starting from the highest arm point till the wrist forms a full length sleeve. Pass the tape around the wrist to get wrist round. From elbow point, go below 3 to 4 inch. That becomes the three fourth sleeves. Pass the tape around at that point to get a three fourth sleeve round. Four inch above the elbow point gives half sleeve length. Pass the tape around to get sleeve round for half sleeves. From the highest point of the arm, go down three to four inch for cap sleeve measurement. 
pass it around at that point to get cap sleep round measurement. Sleeve cap. Place a band one inch under the arm. Measure from the highest point till the band. That tells your cap sleeve measurement. Tip. Tell your client to lift her hand slightly up and then measure it. You can exclude this way of measuring the sleeve cap. There are some standard measurements you can apply and they change according to the size. Starting from small to XL, the range of sleeve, sleeve cap starts from 3.5 inch to 5 inch. With this said, we come to the conclusion. Hope you understood the basic way of taking measurements. If any doubts, feel free to email me. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.